Good morning. It's the beginning of day number 14. Hi, how you doing? And we are leaving Burgos. And uh, at least we waited for the sun to start to come up before we left this morning. And now what we're going to do is just go fill up our water bottles, hopefully, at a fountain down here and get some food to carry with us because we have a long trek today with no breaks in between, apparently. So, um, what's new with that? But beautiful walking along the cathedral, so it's part of the whole uh, trek here. So we're still leaving the town now, but we got to leave during the day um, today, which was cool, but they have the prettiest parks here. I mean, they're just, they're gorgeous. And then if you walk over here, there's a guy doing uh, Tai Chi. That looks peaceful. But gorgeous parks. Like, beautiful. Oh, there's a river here, crossing here. This is all area that we haven't walked over yet. But we just stopped and had, I just had a uh, coffee, and they give you like a little cookie that goes with it, and I bought a breakfast thing that has like Nutella in it, and it was like two dollars, or two euros. And then we stopped to get snacks for our break, and um, we got a bottle of local wine that they bottle here, and it was a dollar seventy-five, or basically one seventy-five euros. euros. I keep saying dollar, and um, at eight cents. And then we got two snacks and a small baguette for three seventy-five euros. Couldn't believe it. So uh, we're not going to starve today like we did yesterday. All righty, we are standing in the University of Burgos is what this is, it's their college, their university. What a beautiful school this is. So that's like the entryway. Then they have their monastery, obviously. Everybody has a monastery in certain areas. And then um, <clears throat> they have like the student housing right over here and back behind there. And then they have like their student bookstore. But uh, yeah, that's their college. It's pretty nice, cool stuff. Maybe the boys want to go there. I know Hector might want to come touch base with his Spanish roots and come to Burgos. You never know, he, he might have family members that went to this college. So far we have a nice little quiet walk. And and, city. Yeah, we're still kind of getting out of the city. You can see the ground is um, still rocky. Okay, so now we are officially entering what is known as the Maceta, which is supposed to be the hardest or the gru most grueling part of the Camino because of the uh, rolling flatland. Basically, it's the flatland as far as the eye can see. They say that you feel like you're not getting anywhere and there's very few stops in between. So, and there's very, very little shade. So, we're gonna see how we do. Okay, so uh, we reached about 3,100 feet on this leg. And we're going down. And we're, looks like we went on a roller coaster. A roller coaster. Wish I had a cart right now to go down. Alrighty, we're in the town of Hornillos, and it's one of the last remaining uh, medieval towns that are in Spain that are still functioning with people living in them. And you can see the street behind us here. Um, and now I just faded ourselves out. We get back to us, but that way you can see down the street. But if you do a little, we're gonna do a little turn on this side. You see. That's the other direction where we came from when we came into town. And uh, it's a really beautiful area. There we go. Get some light in there. But anyway, we had a, a good walk. Um, I'm starting to heal up. We walked extremely fast. We passed a lot of people. As a result, <laughs> we did. We passed a lot of people. We made up time on the Maceta, which is flat and a lot of mileage. It's not a race, sweetie. We just passed a lot of people that were beating us at the beginning. <laughs> it's not a race, but we're beating people. Yeah, but because of anyway, that... Anyway, because of that, Jen is starting to develop a little bit of shin splints, so mm -hmm. hopefully she can raise her uh, raise her feet up tonight, rest her feet. We're going to have a good meal, and we're going to start oh, early tomorrow. Oh, we did tomorrow. get a good uh, um, albergue. We got a good albergue. Uh, how much was it? It was uh, nine euros for the eat, for each of us for the bed. And then also nine, year, uh, nine uh, euros for the nine meal. Nine euros for the meal, and we are going to have paella, salad, dessert and wine and water for nine euros so that's a pretty good price so that is a great price and oh and we went to awesome church and i took some video so we're gonna you'll see it after this clip all right and talk, next and we'll talk to you guys later <laughs> bye <laughs>